Hello, so I thought I'd do the March favourites today and I know it's April Fool's Day, so happy April Fool's Day everybody um, but um, anyway, I'm just going to do the March favourites anyway, even though it's not March anymore but anyway, so this is, the first thing is this um, Volumizing Mousse by Jason uh, Kiwi and Apricot and it's very very good, it doesn't contain those um, you know those chemical things inside and um, it's not sticky and it holds it quite well and it's good for me to use during this uh, bit humid weather which makes my hair curly and this is the thing which I really love is this organics, Aubrey Organics Balancing Shampoo um, I think in the last video or in one of the ones I did before I showed everyone what it looks like and it's really really good it makes my hair really smooth and shiny and it has a very pleasant herbally smell and um, it's not going to lather like straight away or anything like that it doesn't really lather um, so much a bit but it's, it's not as much as the the other ones I suppose and it has all as you can see the ingredients are quite natural. I think they use vitamins A, B and C. No, sorry, E as the preservatives. Okay, so that's very, very good. I really like that and I find that even in this humid weather, uh, with previous shampoos, it tends to make my hair really greasy. But when I use this, um, there's no grease. It's not greasy. It's very um, smooth and very, very, very nice. I'm very pleased with it and then there's the balancing conditioner which I really like as well and um, it has a very very pleasant smell horribly smell sometimes if I'm deep conditioning then I will just put this on my hair uh, or when it's dry and then just leave it in there for like 15 minutes or so because um, it does say that if you want to do deep conditioning then that's the thing that you can do and all the ingredients are very natural as well as you can see they use the um, natural preservatives vitamins A, C and E okay and it's a little bit more expensive than the regular shampoos um, so this is about um, $110 um, I don't know about I don't know how much that is in pounds I think maybe about no, 9 pounds for each and then this one I can't remember how much this was but it's, it's a little bit more expensive than the regular ones but I think if it's good for your hair and, it, and if it's if it doesn't irritate you then I think it's good um, yeah so I really like these two um, the next thing um, like everyone else I really like Lush as well not all the things but um, certain things um, what I really like is this, this strawberry, strawberry, this um, strawberry, oh it's here, the strawberry, um, strawberry smells forever, is it strawberry feels forever, and this smells really really nice, um, I've already used, it smells like yummy yummy yummy, um, which I've got here, I'm not too keen on this shower gel actually, this is not in the favourites but um, it's in the tin that I put in the Lush stuff um, but I do like this and I've checked the ingredients and it's quite natural and it has a lot of natural oils which I really like and you put it on your body and then you have to wait a little bit until it absorbs so it's not a good idea to put it in the morning if you're in a rush and then this is very good as well, It's got it smells a bit cinnamony whereas this one smells more like um, as it a bit strawberry and this one is cinnamony and um, it's very good like if you've had a workout and you've been to the gym or swimming or something like that and then you just want to um, um, relax after your shower and then you just put this on it's really really good and then this soft heart is it soft heart yep soft heart um, I like the white bits the white bit smells very vanilla-ish and it's very very softening, skin softening as well and I find that I use this quite it, I, I use it up quite um, quite quickly I don't like the, the brown bit because the chocolate bit because it's hard to, it doesn't really melt into my skin anyway so I usually just 
take that out and then um, I use the white bits. Yep, so I haven't used this um, glitter bug yet. So that's the glitter bug, I haven't used that yet. And um, sorry about the, um, the cut on my hand, I didn't mean to get that in camera, but I cut it with a cutter while I was trying to open the box. But anyway, so the other thing that I really like, this is my um, Lush Tin thing. I have to use it all before I get any more. Um, and I put the um, those little peanut things, is that what you call those peanut things in the tin as well? And this I usually put outside in the living room because I don't like to put so much stuff in my room. And then, um, I haven't tried this yet, but the thing that I really like is this. This is the um, comforter and it's really, really nice. And even though it contains a bit of the, um, the SLS, um, but I find that it didn't irritate my skin. So I guess they don't have that much in or mixed in with the other oils and stuff like that. It seems to be okay. Um, and the other thing that I really, so I really like that one. Um, and then also this one, I really like this. This is the creamy, I think this is the creamy bar creamy cream bar I can't remember um, but this one is nice as well and it has a lot of bubbles but um, I think I prefer the comforter because it makes the um, it makes your skin really soft as well and it doesn't irritate my skin and I have incredibly sensitive skin with eczema sometimes in hot humid weathers, weather um, and then this one I really like as well this is the think pink one um, I used up the mini one last time. I think it, it's quite nice, it's okay, skin softening and smells nice. Um, I used this one, which I quite like as well, this pop in the bath, but I like this one the best, the comforter, and also the Mar bar, which I use, so I can't show it. And then um, that's it. The rest I haven't used yet, because um, some, some of these were like presents for my birthday and um, I got this one this is the French kiss um, this um, I'm not quite sure if I like the smell of this this is supposed to be um, like lavender kind of smell but I'm, I'm not sure if I like it or not and then um, this is turning out to be like a haul video instead of a favorites but anyway this flying fox uh, I don't really like the smell it's too jasmine for me so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I haven't used this one. And this is the Snow Fairy, fairy which I, I don't like the smell either. It's too chemically sweet for me, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So I guess if anyone wants these, then they can, um, any of my friends or anybody out there who wants these. And then I'll just send them along, I suppose. And then this one I used just a little bit on my hands, but as I said before, I don't like it. Um, but I do like the um, the massage bar, which has the same smell as yummy, 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 but it doesn't contain some of the chemicals that is here. I guess they, it does contain a little bit of chemical, uh, like the parabens, which I that which might account for the reason why my skin got a bit irritated I don't really know but anyway um, so these are the things that I really like for March and then um, I think that's it and then think I think that's it okay this is the view of today a bit boring I know okay bye